Hi everyone and welcome to a new video on this channel. As you can see today, we're not going to vlog. And as you can see by the title, I'm going to talk about my move to UK and how was it, my experience. So people who are stumbling upon and are curious, hi, that was pre-Brexit when I moved here. So things probably changed now, but I thought it would be quite interesting to tell you my story. If that, it's nothing crazy, it's more for like you to get to know me. Some people that are stumbling across our videos might notice that I have a bit of an accent and it's because I'm Polish. Most of my life I can say that, but shortly it'll be, you know, it'll be, but shortly living in UK will kind of overtake all the years I've been in Poland. But anyway, let's just go to the beginning. I've got my cup of tea. It says luckier on it. Very Polish cup of tea because it's just your normal tea still with a tea bag inside. <laughs> <laughs> and some lemon but i'm just doing everything not to get a cold before my dentist appointment because it's the first one since the whole lockdown and i really need to go to the dentist i need all the vitamins i can even at my cup of tea where do i start uh, so i was born in poland in warsaw so the capital of the country i always knew i don't want to live there as a kid, I was fascinated by different countries. I loved watching Cartoon Network in English. I always, I remember that back then there was no dubbing, like they didn't dub the cartoons, but you had, it was, um, somebody was speaking over them. So you still heard the English kind of muted and then somebody was talking in one tone. So there wasn't like the, the normal dubbing nowadays when they have different voice actors. No, it was just a guy going, oh no, Papa Smurf is gonna get us. You know, like no emotion kind of talking. And I remember always picking up on the last word that I heard in English and then hearing the translation and kind of learning English at a very young age. It's like that, it's like just through TV. And I loved it. I loved taking songs of my favorite artists and looking up what it means in Polish. That kind of stuck in my mind. I'm one of those people that learn through looking at things. I can learn so much better if somebody shows me something rather than just reading a book. You know what I mean? Like, for example, I'm about to learn how to drive finally and i am so much more up for the idea of getting in the car and somebody explaining to me like look this is why i'm doing this rather than sitting with a book because I, I just want it's not going to register in my brain so that's why i did with english and um fast forward um 14 and at that time now the whole school system has changed but back then i was about to turn 15 and we had to take this big test that then kind of um, helps you get into a certain school i, I don't want to say it's college because it's not because you're not going to learn a specific trade you're still learning everything so most kids in poland at least back then now again everything changed i don't know how it works now but back then and we're talking 11 years ago or so <laughs> you had to pass this test which was like all the different subjects and you had to pass everything like really really good and then you could pick the school you want to go to but as i said like some people would go to kind of like college but to be honest back then and i think it still is it's kind of frowned upon like if you want to go instead of going to the school that you learn everything you pick let's say woodwork people will talk and at least in my experience it was like people would be like oh they didn't get to the school with all the subjects they have to pick a trade you know what i mean like it was frowned upon on so i wasn't good at school i hated school i i wasn't bullied or nothing like that i just hated school. it was not interesting to me at all i'm the kind of person that unless i'm interested in something I will not remember it <laughs> like you know I'm, I want to learn about things that really interest me and math and chemistry is not it <laughs> so I hated school I was struggling I just didn't care it's not that I wasn't smart enough or bright enough I just didn't care I really just I didn't care and I think I was gonna I was brought up with not enough encouragement I don't want to blame anyone but I feel like I was never told like you're good enough you're good enough I I kind of heard otherwise when I was growing up, you know, that everybody's better, like always being compared to other kids. Like, why can't they have good grades and you don't? And I just wasn't interested. And I wasn't a rebel either. Like, I never caused any trouble in school. I was never called to a principal office. I, I just didn't like school at all, like learning. I would go in there, just be there, <laughs> you know, just for the sake of being there. Where at the time that we're taking all those different exams, and I have to pick schools. And the idea came up that because I like languages so much because that was one of the things I was good at. It was art and French, English and Polish. Although on a side note, I loved writing stories in my first language, which is, which is Polish, but they would always pick up on like, oh, the comma's in the wrong bit, like in the wrong space, oh, the, this is a spelling mistake. So it really put me down with my confidence of storytelling. I would get in trouble when the task was to write a story and a story had to be two pages long and I did three pages. I mean, it's probably like that everywhere, you know, but my story was longer and I couldn't help it. I couldn't cut out the bits that were important that I kind of wrote in my head and then 
put on paper you know so that really put me down of the whole like polish thing but french and english i was really good at i don't want to get into like teachers and story time about how i struggled with teachers at school that could be a totally separate video i've already been talking for eight minutes and we're nowhere near me moving here yet so <laughs> hopefully i'm not gonna have to like edit this video much because i'm just rumbling and rumbling but um the idea came up that maybe i should go to private high school it's kind of like high school that's what i would call it it would still be school that i would learn all the subjects you know it's not a trade but the school was private and it was english so all the lessons would be done in english it was private which meant it would cost and some of my family members said that they would like to kind of help out with it and well that was the general idea that i'm gonna go to this private english school and uh, it's gonna be better for me i'm gonna learn the language you know and i didn't think much of it i was like that is so cool i'm gonna be in a private school and i will speak english and that was always my dream to speak english it's it, as weird as it sounds as a kid and then like early on into my teens i was like i just wish i could live somewhere that i can speak english I don't know why i was fascinated i thought it was so cool i didn't even know about countries and different like how people live anywhere we didn't know well it's not like well we didn't really know anybody that lived in uk fair enough my family in poland not many people there to be honest like as in a lot of my family no hold on a lot of my family members moved out years and years ago so i have family scattered all over the world and at the time my best friends since we were seven so so we were 14 going on 15 so we were best friends uh, since we were seven years old so my best friend at the time uh moved to uk which first she, she thought it was going to be england she ended up in scotland with her mom and we visited me and my mom because it was just me and my mom we visited a couple of times and it was cool i mean i liked it i liked the idea of being abroad it's like you know people were different like all the kids our age were so friendly nobody was judging anybody nobody cared what you wore because in poland it still might be like that at school and stuff you really get judged on how you look and what brand trainers you have and stuff you know and i found that they don't do that here at least in the environment I was in nobody cared everybody was so friendly my best friend already established a group of friends she was in school she was happy enough I like the idea of a little town because it's a little town she was in you know comparing to the city I was like this is cool this is different I remember watching Ed and Eddie on Cartoon Network do you remember that cartoon and I remember thinking wow they're in this like close community that is so cool you know coming from the city I thought it was cool short-lived but you know <laughs> I thought it was cool. So one day, um, my mom and my friend's mom were talking about what if I just moved here. And uh, originally, that originally the idea was that I will move here alone and I will live with my friend and her mom because our moms were like really good friends for years. So it's not like they were strangers. And I would just be in school here, and my mom will eventually move as well. That didn't happen. Instead, my mom just bit the bullet and decided that we're moving. So you know, there's this whole stigma about people from, especially countries like Poland, Ukraine, Russia, and stuff, that we escape the country, that we move because of jobs, because of money. And that wasn't the issue in our case. My mom had a good job. We had, you know, a, a flat bought outright. She didn't have any mortgage, any debt, or nothing. We were just living normal lives. But she knew I struggled at school. And I think she worried a lot that I'm not gonna manage to go through school and something that's very common in Poland is if you don't pass those special exams that happen and it's not GCSEs it's those exams happen well yearly and then the big ones every so many years well every change of school then you repeat the year if you don't pass it you repeat the year and I think she maybe worried that I wouldn't pass because it only takes one bad grade from like maths and it doesn't matter that the rest of your grades from 12 other subjects are good. If you mess up this one subject, you have to repeat the whole year. So not so good. When I was speaking to my mom, I think she said it took like six months of her feeling comfortable enough as in like to pack, plan ahead, save some money. And we moved just like that. We moved. I remember my 15th birthday. Uh, we were in this big park in the center of Warsaw with all my friends at the time. It was a whole group of friends. I had such good friends there. They weren't from school. They were kids from totally different uh, backgrounds, which I would love to tell you at some point about as well. But I, they, we just spent like a cool day. We, it was just like this last time. And to be honest, you know what? I, I don't remember being sad that I'm leaving. Like, yeah, they were my friends, but I knew they weren't forever. <laughs> And I knew my best friend is in that country that I'm gonna be at. That I'm gonna be in Scotland. I'm gonna be with her and that's all that mattered. My mom's coming with me. I'm going to go to school. The big dream was to go to college eventually, uh, which I didn't know I could have gone straight away, but I did one year at the academy. I wanted to study fashion and there was no high school at the time and Warsaw that I could do fashion. I would have to wait till like I get in uni and 
I probably wouldn't have made it through all these crazy polar schools. Let me take a sip, sip of tea because I've been talking and I feel like I am nowhere near finished and we're not even halfway through the story. <laughs> oh, that is lemony. I don't think it kicked in because I, I don't remember feeling sad or upset or nothing. Um, I mean, I even had a boyfriend at the time. That was my first boyfriend that I was very much in love with, but we were kids, you know what I mean? We were 15 and I just was ready for something different. I, as much as, you know, the capital, the city, I don't think Poland's such a good place to live in. Not for me, anyway. I don't have a mindset that I think fit that country and I don't think I could achieve, I, I still don't think I could achieve what I can achieve here and what I've achieved here. By, I, by here, I mean living in Britain. But um, we just moved. My mom had enough savings that she didn't need to, well, not, not worry, but you know, we didn't have a set up place to live or my mom didn't have work lined up because she just left her work and she was like, what am I gonna do? But she had enough money that she had time to do so. so we stayed with uh, our friends, my best friend and her mom, for a little bit, and then we found a place to live. And I just went to academy. And if that, so I was in year, I think five. I feel like I'm getting confused here. We moved in 2009, and that was in summer, so it was before my birthday. I had my 16th year, I think. Hold on, let me calculate it. I am getting confused now. Yeah, so 2009, so 2009 we moved here in summer. So I finished the school, the end moved here. Um, and I went to the academy for a year, which was an absolute waste of time. Never knew what a GCSE is. I don't think my friend at the time knew either, even though she went to school here. We had no, I, I had no idea about those tests, about choosing subjects. My mom chose, has chosen subjects for me. I remember sitting there and they were like, choose the subjects you want. And you know, I wanted the art, the photography. I'm very artsy fartsy, but she has chosen like chemistry, biology, math. And I think I did art and photography, but you know, I felt everything. I, <laughs> all this maths and stuff because I wasn't interested to the point that I just wouldn't show up even to the lessons because I really just didn't care. I went to college after that and that was good. I felt fulfilled. I felt like I'm doing something cool. I liked it even though I had to travel quite a bit on a bus to get to the city to, to the college. I liked it and in terms of like climatizing with people because I already had a friend here and she had friends that was a very easy transition for me. Nobody bullied me for you know, being Polish for being the new girl because I had this group of people standing behind me because they already knew her and I was her best friend, you know? So it was something that just came very naturally that I wasn't bullied or anything like that. So now that I've straightened out that I, we never moved here because of like money issues. It was generally just my school and better future for me education wise. Another fun fact is, no, we never knew about any benefits. I know a lot of people scam the government, well, maybe not now with Brexit, but before, about like coming here and just claiming all the benefits that they can. Some of them even do it for family members that are not even in Britain, but still like back in Poland and stuff. We never knew about any of that because my, my friend and her mom never really knew about it. They just, you know, her mom just worked and my mom just worked. We never knew about things like you can get a council house or stuff like that. So no, we were not one of those people. Nothing wrong with that. I mean, personal opinion, everybody's got their personal opinion, but no, we just literally moved here. My mom saved, went to work, rented a place and I went to school. And I think that was, at, uh, and I could literally talk about it so much now because there's so many different things I would like to talk about, like about school in Poland versus school here and uh, what happened with my first boyfriend, everything. But you know what? Like, that's crazy to think. This summer it'll be 12 years that I've been here and I would never call Poland home. It's a place that I was going back every so often uh, just to visit my dad, but that was really it. Like, my, ma my dad got a stroke two years ago it was uh, horrible for me. I've, I, I went to Poland, spent over a month being at the bedside in the hospital with him every day till he got transferred to a care home and we had great plans of moving him here. Uh, but sadly he has passed and I've not been in Poland since and I don't want to. I have to at some point, there's some certain things I have to take care of, but I don't want to because right now the whole country will just remind me of him you know that he and that he's not here anymore so i don't want to go back i don't think i will ever call it home as i said i really don't have much family i've my grandparents have passed when i was little or before i was even born so uncle and uncles and aunties there's either no contact or people are living elsewhere there's only a handful of people that i have in poland and that we don't even have like 
you know everyday contact or nothing like that so i've never missed any of that and i don't want you know because I, I just didn't have family there and i i don't want to go back that's, that's why i said i feel like i would just probably burst out crying the minute i land because it would just remind me of my dad and that he's not there anymore so i feel like i will call scotland my home that's my home that's where my mom is that's when my partner darren is that's where my kids are and that's where we are building our lives together and we have been i mean me and dad and this june we will be together for 10 years so uh, that's a long time you know and we've done so much in that whole time i really don't think my life would look the way it looks right now if i was in poland i feel like i probably would be so much i was gonna say so much more miserable but no i feel like i would probably be miserable the i know i'm talking a lot about like putting labels on people that are oh, you know polish they they do this or that but there is certain things that people from certain countries do and i just i don't get along that much with people that have like proper polish mentality so to say if i was still in poland what would i do i would probably just work some normal job i would probably never be brave enough to do youtube even though ironically my main channel which is how i earn money isn't polish but you know i live here i don't think i would have had the balls so to say to do it uh, while living in poland i would probably just have some mediocre normal job with the way things were going i don't think i would have ever believed in myself uh yes yeah, so i don't think i would have ever believed in myself for having a no com on my own company which i did or anything like that I would probably just have a normal job and so no i just i just i don't even want to think about the way that my life would be i'm really happy here and as i said we've built our lives together here with that and yeah <laughs> so yeah that's it that's it for my story that's how i moved here ironically i finished college and never continued to go to any other education i got into uni i got into fashion management but after my friend phone shut up after my friend went there for a while and realized that it was nothing creative it was actually just like how to get a manager's job at the shop uh i didn't feel like that was it and you know what i'm so much better off now i do what i love i can work from home dedicate all my time to kids and work and kind of really fulfill in what i really want to do i've always knew I've always known that I don't want to work for anybody, that I want to do something on my own. I am not, I, like, it's like I felt I'm not the type of person that even could go to a job that I can progress and push my way through. I, like, push my way up. I knew I have to do something on my own. Uh, I don't know if it has anything to do with my lack of confidence in terms of, you know, um, that I'm not good enough and I can only be good at what I want to be good at. But it's worked out for me so far and I'm happy. And if you are also a person that moved from, it doesn't have to be Poland to UK, but like anywhere to a different foreign country, so to say, you're more than welcome to share your story in the comments. I would love to hear it. Uh, I love hearing about people's stories. I think it's really good. I don't think any of us should be bullied about like, you know, moving countries for a better life or whatever you know as long as you do everything fine i live here i pay my taxes i you know contribute and this and that and i'm very lucky to not have been bullied throughout any point of my life i was actually more bullied in, Pol in poland by teachers there than anybody saying anything here so i'm gonna finish the video because i could literally talk for hours and hours here but there's so many things that i feel like i should talk about and tell you like just because you know it's different on my main channel i used to do videos like this but i kind of drifted away from that and then anyway if you enjoyed time with me and you want more of this kind of story time videos or me talking more about maybe my experience here and i've how you know how it's been for me then uh give a thumbs up that's really encouraging and uh, i would love for you to subscribe to our channel more vlogs videos like talking renovations coming up we're really trying our best i mean i'm literally working non-stop on this channel it's obviously working i run his own company but my my job is my online shop plus my youtube channel so that's my kind of drill and i really would love for this channel to kind of grow bigger and bigger and create a community i think that would be really cool so um yeah stay tuned for more and uh, follow us on instagram I've made a new instagram account because i decided we need to have a separate one for the english social media rather than mix in my polish platform of drama things so that's what i do on my main channel with this kind of more chill lifestyle content so all the links are down below and uh, it would mean the world to us and i'll see you in the next video